In the 2011 movie Moneyball, Brad Pitt plays the general manager of the Oakland Athletics, and compared to some of the other baseball teams, Oakland does not have a big budget to buy these high-ticket, uh, high-profile baseball players to help them sell tickets and win games. So how on earth are they going to win? They're undercapitalized versus other teams. How are they going to do this? And what they did in this situation, you can copy for your own business, whether it's an Amazon FBA business, an e-commerce business, you can do this too, and you can save a ton of money and make more money in the long run. So, so here's what they did. Uh, Brad Pitt's character, accompanied by Jonah Hill. It's a, it's a good movie, by the way. I'd, I'd recommend it. Uh, they boil down all of baseball into a single outcome. So if you look at baseball in general, you might get confused as to what you're trying to do. But if you look at baseball from a really simple lens, they said, okay, what are we trying to do? Well, we're trying to win games. That's all. Okay, how do you win games? Let's reverse engineer it. Well, you score home runs to win games, right? How do you score home runs? Well, you have to get people on the bases. How do you get people on the bases? Well, you do whatever you can. That part is less important. Whether they get uh, walked, whether it's a ball, whether they get a single, a double, whatever it is, you just need players who get on base. And so they looked at the statistics of cheaper players who consistently get on base often, no matter what the means of getting on base was, and they hired those people. So they made a team of ragtag misfits, but statistically, they got on base, they made home runs, and they won more games. And the team went on to have a crazy winning streak with this statistical model. Because prior in baseball, and they showed this a bit in the movie, uh, they would judge players on, ah, I don't feel so good about that, or um, ah, he's, you know, he's had marital difficulties, or oh, he's getting older, or he throws funny. So they would overlook based on these, um, based on reasoning by analogy, based on their impression of the players, but that's not always correct. The numbers don't lie. And so they basically reverse engineered baseball down to a set of numbers that led to a final result. And you can do this in your Amazon FBA business as well. So what is the goal of selling on Amazon? Let me ask you that. What is the equivalent of win games in Amazon? Well, I would argue that it's profit, right? Make actual money. Some people play a revenue game, but I don't think that's sustainable. I don't think that's what drives value in an Amazon business. You want to make actual profit dollars, right? So assume that that is the end point. With that in mind, all you have to do, all you have to do is buy low and sell high on physical products on the platform. So that does not necessarily mean that you need to do private label or wholesale. Retail arbitrage I would not recommend, but <laughs> either of those two, or be a distributor. You can do any number of things as long as it's buy low, sell high, make profit per unit, right? So just free yourself from all the preconceived notions about, say, building a brand or even using FBA, the warehousing system. Like very often those things do work, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do those things in order to get the goal, to get the profit. Right? I wrote you a free book on exactly how to scale up profitably on Amazon FBA. I'll drop it in the comments. It's totally free. It's not for sale. It's just free and it's there. So if you want a copy, feel free to get it. And uh, I'll see you on the other side.